Hey everybody, it's Steve from We Just Play Games, and I'm joined with... Kristen. And we're back with more Walking Dead. Okay, so we're gonna go on a mission. Gonna go on a mission to yeah. go save Glenn. Yep. Hey there. Hello. <laughs> you ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's kick some ass. Maybe we'll find the key to the pharmacy out there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll find my dad and my mother and my brother. Well, your dad doesn't have his cane. I don't think he's doing too yeah. well. Then again, you probably need a cane, <laughs> according to your leg. Mm -hmm. Oh, we hustled. Get down. Oh, fuck. Punch it in the face. It's got a letterman jacket. <laughs> RV. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Gosh. Ah! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room. I heard crying coming from inside. Crying? Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. I can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are right. suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Clementine 2.0. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. What can you use as a weapon? Peek for too long and you'll be seen. So don't let the screen get too red, I guess. So we got that one right there. Close. Oh, damn it. Hello. You can smother one. Good luck smothering them. <laughs> That's not really what I have in mind. Where are you carrying all this stuff? Oh, oh, talk to Carly. Where to next? Okay, I was thinking you could put the gun up to the pillow, put the pillow up to a zombie's and head, it and that'll the silence it. Or down to the truck and be quiet about it. Can you move with the other stick? Yeah, you can. Perfect. So get on the other side of Glenn and peek over the wall again, I guess. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. Hey, a screwdriver. Oh shit. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> Might have. Maybe peek again? Oh look in the look in the bed of the truck. No, I can't do that either. Damn. Well, I'm stumped. I may have to smash. You know. Ow. Hey, man. That drew some attention. Be careful. Hey, man. 
Maybe just check out the zombie, just look at it. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Oh my god, they're gonna do the pillow thing. I was right. That was sick. <laughs> Maybe check the body of the zombie. No, can't do that. All right, let's check in the car. You gonna run the zombie over? Who took the spark plug out of the car? Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Push the car, I guess. You put it in neutral. You're gonna. Oh, you can get an axe! <laughs> You're so excited. I am! You get a weapon! Hey, buddy. Sorry about that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, how are you gonna get that axe of that zombie getting you? How'd you get back at the- oh yeah, that other car's not there anymore. You have a spark plug now. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. What? I guess now you can break the window. Oh, that- oh shit. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Fancy. Now I got a weapon. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright, who's next? So you're going to have to take that one out first. You got to move back to that wall. RV. Dun 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 dun. Screwdriver, screwdriver! I'll wait for him to get closer for it. You have to time this. I'm scared. I'll wait for him to get I got him in the neck. Get him in the face, get him in the face. There you go. Uh oh. Shit. Uh he can handle it. I hope. Yay! Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. For sure! Yay, axe time! Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> More. That should help. Totally set for zombie apocalypse. You have an axe. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Maybe use that axe to shave, Glenn. What's up, motherfucker? Rad. 
<laughs> Barred ass. One single two by four. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. She's crazy. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Are you ready for anything? Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. Oh no. Think she's bit? Or someone is in there. Oh. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late. No, she's bit. Kill her. Kill Guys. her. She's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! You should've just led with I'm bit. <laughs> Not go down. away. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. It's not like that. It's not Christian. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. Uh -oh. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Suicide isn't Christian either. Give it to her. Oh what? shit. You can't be serious. Do it. No. She could turn right now. We can't take a risk. Hand it over to her. God, just okay. Fine. I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Oh god, this could either go bad. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. Could have at least just given her one this. bullet. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Great. You sure? Yeah. Got a gun and an axe now. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm unstoppable. You tick on the world. I know. God bless I'll you. here with you. Oh. You're a good man. <laughs> Made a difficult decision. But it had to be done. Could have been completely avoided if she had led with I'm Everyone bit. All right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. And, well, yeah. But either way, she would have okay. come back and I still would have killed her. Cans of yep. gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. I saw in that cutscene it said shaving needs on one of the cabinets. Sticking about Glenn. Maybe we can use the axe on the door? Oh yeah. Oh, and you should give Clementine the radio back. Hey Clem. How's it going? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Um. It's up to you. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, <laughs> no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Okay. I'll protect you and save your life. You can tell me bedtime stories. 
Food ban. Yo, what's that? Catch food box. I wonder what's in the food box. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before <laughs> this all went down. Uh, how do I go back to the pharmacy? Wait, it's office. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh yeah, you guys can just sit there. And rot. Yay, you have an axe now. Fuck the key. <laughs> Dude, hit the door. Better yet, break all the glass on the window and slide coming time through. Yes. It is, I guess. What? I don't know what he said. Try it again. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Cause we all want to help Larry. Was worth a shot. Keys, it is, I guess. Keys, it is, I guess. Brick. Oh wait, no, you don't have a brick. <laughs> came in here hoping to survive but it looks like one of them was her I wonder if it was my dad <laughs> trying to be a hero maybe or a protector at least damn it dad why'd you have to be a hero oh so now what hmm I guess I could talk to you guys. Give her some food? I guess. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Just stop being such a crazy bitch! Oh, there's something there. Gate. The pills are in there. What's up, Glenn? Maybe he knows how to pick a lock. How you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. I'm so wise. That's not me. <laughs> I'm not giving up. Except right. when he can't say anything to Clementine. <laughs> you let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy. Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for Glenn. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. <laughs> I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. They're just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Really good people, except for that guy that murdered the person his wife was cheating on him with. Maybe you can get in the bathroom? Nothing? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Is there okay. keys out there? Or you can grab that brick and smash the window. True. What else should I do? Like, you got options. I can't reach that brick. Can you give him a remote? Think you can do anything with this? 
Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Wait, is there a TV store? Can you see a TV store? Electronics warehouse. Use the remote on that. It'll attract the zombie's attention. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across uh -huh. the street. Oh yeah. The I would do great we, in we the zombie apocalypse. We are getting you somewhere. Can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. You're a fucking nerd. <laughs> Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Hey, look up at the lock. No. Oh, he doesn't have any lower jaw. He's surprised. He notice. Hmm. Hey. Maybe try the TV store again and see if he'll change the channel to something louder. I can't. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? It's Dad. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good oh. a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. How could we distract them? Hmm. It's a combination lock. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone Larry? ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> Are you gonna axe it? Open sesame. That <laughs> won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal, but for the shot. I know, Doug. I have the axe. That's true. But I've got to knock that lock over there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. Should I choose the axe? It's up to you. <sighs> oh, it's but what am I supposed to do? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll go back and inside. check. Okay. okay. <sighs> Stressful. Okay, so uh, we'll figure out a plan and we'll come back and execute it in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.